Okay, so uh, you tell tell me that you need to, to sit for the two terms, the first term and the second term of language, yes? So uh, you have to prepare all the all the tests, the test for the first exam and the second exam. And you will enter to one meeting and in that meeting, I will ask uh, you questions about the, the tests that are in module uh, one, two, and three. And then I will ask you uh, questions about the tests uh, which are on the on the other modules, four, five, and six. Yes. And at the end of that, uh, well, you will uh, you will have your note, uh, your marks. Sorry, your marks. Yes. But remember that you have to pass. Um, first, you have to pass to pass the first exam from the first term, and then you will have the mark from the second term. If you do not oh. pass the test from the first term, uh, the second exam is not valid. Yes, it is okay. valid. Okay. Okay. So, if I don't uh, success the exam, I can uh, repeat in March. Of course. The yes. Year? Yes. Oh, if you okay. don't pass, uh, imagine that you. Uh, pass the first term exam from language and you need yeah. to pass the second one so of course you have to sit again uh, the next uh, uh, the next term or the next date for the exam that would be that would be in March yes oh, okay. and that will happen with all the subjects because you know that you must uh, pass all the all the subjects and all the exams so mm -hmm. there is no problem uh, with that. Oh, okay. Okay. With respect to Anglophona, you have only one task now. Because okay. uh, I don't know if you have seen or have read the module, it is very long and it has a lot of facts, historical facts, and it is quite long. So I decided to do one task. Um, for that task, you will have to read all the modules, yes. And you can send it uh, from the 20th of October up to the up to the 31st. You will have time, yes. But only one task, uh, not two, yes. Okay. And I think that with language. And uh, with grammar, it also happens the same. Uh, you have the two tasks, but in one uh, Word document, and you will have to send the send it once, and that's it. And everything uh, from the twenty onwards, up to the thirty first. There is something I would like to uh, tell you in advance. Yes, with respect to next month's uh, uh, handing in of the task. You know that the exams will start at the end of November. So okay. we will uh, we will uh, send you the task from the last month, from November, uh, at the beginning of the month, yes. And in that case, you will have to hand the tasks in uh, before the usual time because we will need time to correct them and you will need time to see if it is okay so that you can uh, practice uh, and study for your exams. Perhaps, okay. uh, I, I am thinking that perhaps you will be able to send the tasks from the 15 up to the, or from the, oh no, perhaps from the beginning of the month up to the 15. Okay. Something like that, so that we, you students and I, uh, we both have, uh, we all have time to, to do the corrections and you to check the things that you have done and all that. But do not worry because uh, I will, we all the teachers will bear that in mind, so that we avoid to be in, in a rush at the end of the of the month, yes? Okay. 
Well, with respect to the tasks from module five, um, all the tasks are now, from now onwards, in one Word document. So you will have the two tasks in one Word document so that you have to send them the document once. Yes? Um, well, that would be all. That will be all. Um, see you next class. Bye-bye.